People on Reddit are not just dorks on the internet. They have exposed criminals and solved mysteries. Like when a user reported this headlight after a hit and run, it was identified as coming from a 1991 Cadillac Brom. The victim found that exact car was stolen in his town and the criminal was arrested. Well, the power of Reddit almost took down the NBA. The allegation was so serious, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver had an emergency meeting in New York 24 hours after the post. That shows how scared the league is about what the Reddit user exposed. But what people uncovered after the post to solve the mystery may change one player's career. On Saturday, January 28th at 3.24 a.m., a Reddit user named AdMassive6666 wrote, Memphis Grizzly scorekeeper posting fraudulent numbers. He says that Jaron Jackson Jr. is putting up insane defensive stats at home, but normal ones on the road. In 16 games played, he has 66 blocks in Memphis, 30 five blocks away. An 89% increase at home. He also has 22 steals at home, 10 on the road. A 120% increase. So that made him wonder, is the Grizzlies home scorekeeper faking Triple J's stats on purpose? He then laid out three potential reasons. Number one, Triple J is just much better at home. For some reason, he plays a lot harder with his own fans in the building. Number two, the scorekeeper is a gigantic Grizzlies fan. Dude obviously lives in Memphis and he just wants to see Triple J get as much love as possible. But number three, the scorekeeper is financially motivated. Sports betting is legal in just 20 of 50 US states. One of those happens to be Tennessee. Is there a chance the scorekeeper or one of his friends and family places prop bets on Triple J? You can bet that a player will have a certain number of blocks or steals and the scorekeeper could be making sure that that bet pays out. Or could he have placed a wager for Triple J to win Defensive Player of the Year? Jaron finished fifth in voting last year, but he was injured to start this season, so he was a gigantic plus 10,000 long shot to win the award. That means you bet $100, you win $10,000. If you bet 10,000, you would win a million. Well, Triple J has been so good since returning, he's the favorite to win Defensive Player of the Year. The Grizz defense went from 19th in the NBA to number one after he got healthy. So the motive was there and the stats, but what did the actual video say? The Reddit user posted seven smoking gun examples where Jaron Jackson got a block or a steal but didn't deserve it. The first, Zion fumbling the ball, never shooting, but Triple J still receiving a block. Then Brandon Clark gets the block on Damian Lee, but Jaron gets the stat. Anytime he's even kind of involved, the scorekeeper just gives it to Triple J. There are plenty of other examples that appear to show a corrupt scorekeeper with a bias toward one player. If this was true, it could put the entire NBA in jeopardy. Why are referees so bad this year? How could they miss a blatant call like LeBron James obviously getting fouled on the last bucket of regular what is really going on here? The post caught fire and branched from Reddit to trending on other social media sites. Gambling odds makers immediately caught wind and stopped taking Defensive Player of the Year bets on Jaron Jackson. Then, NBA executives actually went on Reddit and were reading the post for themselves. They texted reporters like Brian Windhorst. ESPN had a staff meeting on how to cover this. The news made it all the way to Commissioner Adam Silver, who had an emergency meeting in New York. All because of one NBA fan on Reddit. The league was freaking out because they've dealt with a gambling scandal before. In the 2000s, Tim Donahue was arrested for fixing games that he officiated to win millions for his mafia-connected friends. The FBI got involved, but the dirty little secret is the NBA did not cooperate. They were so paranoid about their reputation, they leaked the story to the media, saying that Tim Donahue acted alone. That destroyed the FBI's plan to bust other referees by using Tim Donahue as an informant. To this day, Donahue swears tons of other refs bet on games. The NBA didn't want us to know how widespread this was. If he's right, this scorekeeper could be another black eye on the NBA. But problems started to emerge about the original Reddit post. First, one guy does not determine stats for NBA games. They did away with that a long time ago. Now, according to ESPN, it's a multi-layered system. The person who tracks is called the inputter, who sits at a screen and enters stats. And they don't even watch the 
game. That's the job of two spotters on either end of the court who then speak to the inputter through an earpiece. If that wasn't enough, Every game is watched in Secaucus, New York by the Replay Center. There, another person watches stats for quality control. But if there is any question about anything, the NBA office in New York has someone the next day who can verify everything. So if the Reddit person was right, it would be a gigantic conspiracy involving at least five people in three different cities. But that still doesn't explain the crazy home road stats and the video. NBA.com allows you to watch every play so people went there to see if the Triple J controversy was real. And sure enough, several plays looked suspect, just like the Reddit post said. The problem is NBA.com only gives the broadcast angle with no replays. Kevin O'Connor from The Ringer dug deeper with different angles. For example, the Brandon Clark block at a different angle, you can see, Triple J gets his hand there first. This Herb Jones field goal attempt looks just like a miss where Jaron gets credit because he was close to the play. Actually, he gets a fingertip on the ball for a block. Play after play, Triple J comes up with a block or a steal. Upon review, only three of his 66 home blocks were incorrect. So what this means is Jaron Jackson actually is the best defender in the NBA this year. Instead of exposing his fake stats, the Reddit user actually highlighted how amazing Triple J actually is. It also shows how talented the official stat people are. They even get fingertip blocks and steals correct. Look, I am not mad at this guy on Reddit because those kinds of posts are what make the internet so much fun. And it's crazy to think one fan had this huge impact in such a short amount of time. Also, media people like Kevin O'Connor have access to different replays that the rest of us don't have. So I'm sure if that Reddit user had seen all of that, he wouldn't have even made this post. I actually chatted with the Reddit poster and he said the number one thing he would change is showing other examples of Triple J getting undeserved stats. And he says a player has never been so much better at home than on the road. But why is that? After seeing those replays, maybe Jaron isn't getting enough credit on the road. An advanced stat says he is the best rim protector in the league at home. On the road though, he's the second best than everyone else. Forget just blocks. Also, have you seen the Grizzlies record at home? and on the road. They're the number one team at home below 500 on the road. So yeah, I guess they just play better in Memphis. Honestly, Jaron Jackson should thank this Reddit user if he does win Defensive Player of the Year because it's all anybody's talking about. I'm sure you saw the conspiracy that flew around the internet yesterday. Um, what, what did you make? of that it was just lighting up lighting up group chats on my phone you know how it is when your homies are like you good or whatever and i'm like half asleep i still don't even know what's going on but i saw that i beat the case so <laughs> And he better win Defensive Player of the Year because an even better defender is coming. Victor Wimbanyama is doing everything he can to prepare for the NBA, which includes lifting weights. Dude is now ripped, and it is scaring everybody. Check it out. 